Brian Mark Masaba, who has played cricket for over 15 years, was introduced to the sport while attending Ndeja Secondary School. When I joined secondary school, uh, the first few friends I met uh, had gone to Budo Junior where they played with cricket. You know, I learned from them and the, the game it caught, sort of caught my interest because it was a very mental game. You know, you have to count how many runs. You don't figure out where, where you want to hit the ball and things like that. I made the school in the school team S2. So I played under 17 uh, in my S4. Then I played under 19. And then uh, I got selected for the national team. Masaba first served as captain in 2016, though his tenure was not particularly memorable. I captained uh, under 19. Yeah. Uh, I do not know why some, some were listening to me. Uh, saw something in me and gave me but, you know, if you say you saw leadership, you know, give me that chance. So, what I discovered is, when I got my chance back in 2016, that I, I knew nothing. As the saying goes, the second time is the charm, Masaba was reappointed captain in 2019, succeeding Roger Mkasa. This time, among his many achievements, he made history by leading the team to their first T20 World Cup appearance. Yeah, uh, leading uh, Uganda has been very fulfilling for me as a person. Um, I got the role when I was quite, I was considered quite young, and uh, you know it's been a learning experience for me. I've grown into the role, I've grown with the team, and uh, I've learned a lot about leadership and about life. So it's a very challenging job, but I must say it's something I've enjoyed immensely. Uh, it's something I take great pride in. And uh, I'll say it's been the biggest honor and privilege of my life to lead my country for the last five years. Qualifying and playing at a World Cup for sure, uh, rank up there, uh, getting a win at the World Cup, that's big. Also, you know, securing contracts, full-time contracts for this team um, under coach Lawrence Madlani. Uh, I think that was a major success and a major step uh, towards professionalizing the game in Uganda. So why did he decide to retire? We've come to the end of a cricket cycle. We're starting a new cycle uh, that continues for the next three or four years. And um, I felt this, it was the best time to hand over the reins to the next guy uh, that will lead Uganda into that next cricket cycle. But I also felt I, I needed to step away from, from the game for a little bit to sort of renew my batteries because it's been a long three, four years you know, preparing for the World Cup and qualifying for the World Cup and finally preparing after the qualifier for the World Cup as well. Despite stepping down as captain and retiring from the T20 internationals, Masaba says he will remain involved in the game. I'll continue to play my part as a player and uh, as a senior member of the team, I'll always be available for to give advice and uh, to lead by example like I've always done so not much changes for me. His teammates appreciate his leadership and contribution as captain. And personally for me I have learned a lot, lot of things from him about, about discipline, about leadership in, 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 the, in, uh, in the ground and uh, outside the ground. Has been a good captain and has been, has been encouraging enough to all of us. For all the effort he has put into the team, yeah, he has led us well. He's been not only a captain but a mentor to me personally. As a Cricket Queen's captain, Brian Masaba led his team to 60 T20 internationals, winning 45 of them. He's the first Ugandan player to take a wicket at a World Cup, achieving this milestone against Afghanistan. He will be forever remembered as the first captain to take the Cricket Cranes to the T20 World Cup. Grace Joyce Kemigisa, UBC News.